Hey guys, it's Zoboard here, back with another review, and, uh, what the heck. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing a Batman video. When did I ever do one of these? Uh, actually I did one on Hot Wheels, but not on my action figure. Well, actually I did one of those too, but I just showed you one. I never actually went in depth. Well, uh, this is the, this is the Alliance of Fear 4-pack. Now, before I get into the review I want to give a special shout out to my friend Jess Minesto too. Uh link to his channel will be in the description below. But uh we're gonna review these figures and do some size comparisons and uh yeah we're gonna do this sort of Jess Minesto Jess Minesto two style. Blech. I have I gotta get another tongue, I'm telling you. But uh these figures do I do have all their accessories except for Scarecrow's crow. Uh, I found out he had a crow probably t this week, last week. Uh, Joker's got his little toxic blaster thingy, and Batgirl doesn't come with nothing. She can't hold nothing anyway. Look at her; she's extremely preposed. And uh, Batman comes with probably. Him and Joker probably come with the most stuff. But, uh, we're going to talk about Batman first, of course. So, we'll bring him up. Articulation on these standard five points. He's got one, two, three, four, and five. But he's got all these belts and stuff. Wow, that sounds nasty. Uh, <laughs> and he's got a little lantern on his shoulder. I assume he's going through like a nightmare with Scarecrow or something, but who knows, really. And he's got these fancy feet. Not really sure what Batman this is, but all I know is that it was probably the most... the closest to the... Regular shows, uh, Batman that, uh, I ever had, so. Well, it was closer to the animated model, because he had the gray, really. I have one that was a little bit closer, because he didn't have all this junk, but his cape got chewed up by, uh, by dogs. <laughs> and, uh, I was stupid and I trimmed his ears off with a pair of scissors, so. We do stupid crap when we're kids. Very stupid crap. But this one's cape is in fine shape. It's held up. There you go, there's a look at the cape. But, uh... Yeah, I kind of wish you could do the... Drape over the shoulder thing. I remember always trying to do that as a kid. And never being able to do it. And I'm just like, aw. Now that I think about it, actually, I was like... An extra point here... Just because of that. Is did they like is his shoulder like way in that he's supposed to be broad shouldered. But uh yeah, this Batman's pretty cool and he comes with a couple things. So we'll put him in there. And first thing he comes with is uh this little pickaxe. The bad axe. Yes, that's what it is. Let's grab him and not someone in the back. And he can hold that pretty tight. That's the thing I like about these figures. They can actually hold their accessories. Like some Transformers have where I have to like jiggle it in. Uh, yeah, Predaking, for example. I have to mod the stupid hands just so you can get them to hold stuff. Now, he does also come with a grappling hook. Now, I'm going to put him off to the side. You can shoot this, but mine is more or less a like push fire. Because, uh, when I was, uh, testing this to see if it worked, uh, like, a little while ago, probably in a half an hour, 20 minutes, uh, I tried to push this out through the back, and it pulled the whole spring out. So, as odd as that sounds. It sort of fires. There you go. And I did that. I have no idea where that went. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna spend the whole video looking at stupid thing. There it is. But, uh, yeah. It's a flick fire now. Which I prefer, because it used to be quite the hair trigger. But uh, he can hold it. Batman can hold it. And yeah, he can. That is extremely oversized, but you know what? It works. So uh, we're gonna put him off to the side here. He doesn't really like to stand while holding his accessories, so we might just have to lie him down. Because he's not level. There we go. And next we'll do Batgirl. Uh, I never liked this figure as a kid. Um, although I have to say, uh, that part is sculpted very nicely. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. But, uh, and the legs as well. Hmm. <laughs> Such a pervert. But, uh, she has four points. Uh, she's got swivel in the head. Her cape was a separate piece, and I remember as a kid getting that on was a pain in the you-know-what. And, uh, she's got movement in the shoulder. Can't really go 360 on both sides. And she's got a waist swivel, which is very limited. But she's in this pre-posed, I got my hand on my hip stance, and it's kind of silly. Still not really sure if I got this stupid cape on all the way. Yeah, there, there we go. And she's knocking everybody over. Oh, just poof him. <laughs> you annoy me. But, uh, yeah, she's probably the worst of the bunch, I have to say, because you can just do this. And kill Scarecrow, too, so. That's that's it for her. I'm not. Yeah, she can't use the grappling hook, so. She didn't come with nothing. Not surprising, she's terribly reposed. But I will put you back. So, for the most part, I got this four-pack for the Batgirl and the Scarecrow, because I didn't have either of them, but I did have a couple Batmans, and I did have a Joker, but this is the Joker in this pack, and he's the weird-looking one with the reversed eyes. But uh, he's got a swivel in the head, shoulders, and the hips, and mine are a little bit loose and warped. I think they're supposed to be more like that. But, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> so, uh, he came with a few accessories. He came with this gas mask, which is stupid. I just wrap it around him. I can't get that stupid peg to stay in there with Jack, but when he's like this, I can easily, you know fiddle with it for a couple seconds and get it on there. I need to trim my nails. But, uh, there's that, but when you try to put this giant thing on, it starts to suck, so that's when I take it off. I don't know if Scarecrow could wear it, that would be kind of hilarious. But, uh, you just put this thing over his head, and it'd be a little bit difficult to do. And does anyone else think that this dude looks like he belongs in Animaniacs? Just a statement. Gotta move it up a little. Just a sec. I almost said I broke him. I would have been like, no, childhood memories destroyed. Yeah, not really sure how this stupid thing's supposed to go on. I never mastered it as a kid. 
I don't know, something like that. And it renders him not able to stand. But uh, he can shoot you with some laughing gas if you squeeze this. It's actually quite smelly. <laughs> but are uh, you supposed to fill it with water and then you could see the thing coming out of that? But classic Kenner gimmick failed epically because most water toys don't last long. So I am gonna choose to display them without the scrap and just do that. So that's the Joker. Now we're looking at the reason, the most reason I bought this pack. <laughs> Back then, I wasn't really into female action figures as much as I was, and I already had Batman and Joker. But I got this pack for the Scarecrow, and uh, look at that face. He's got light piping in his hat, and it works fantastically. I mean, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he did, I do also have a scythe, and uh, you can have him whack you in the nose, poke your eye out, kid. But uh, he's got a little wheel in the back, and you spin that, and his scythe goes wacky. This arm, I can only assume, was for the crow. Uh, that kind of sounded like a movie reference, but for his crow, I suppose. But, uh, that's it for Scarecrow Articulation. He's got a swivel in the head. In the shoulders. He can do this due to the gimmick. And it stays in place. For the most part. And he's got some articulation in the hips. But this is probably the best figure of the pack. Which is why I bought it. I think it was like 50, 20 bucks. That was a fair price. So we're gonna bring back Batman and remove his stupid weapons. They're silly and pointless. Oh, and I did I forgot to mention he's got like a Wolverine claw too. <laughs> it's kind of silly. But uh, we're gonna do some size comparisons. This is where the Just Me Nesto 2 part of the review comes in. Because he brings in all sorts of figures and does comparisons. So I decided I'd do that. So the first figure we have is uh, Goliath from... Uh, Gargoyles. I took his wings off so he'd fit in the freaking shot. Sir. That's cool. Just a sec. But uh, we have Goliath there. And, uh, as soon as I find him. Todd McFarlane's Spawn from the Spawn movie line. So that's for them. He does not really work with those two. And then Grim Skull and Prince Lightstar from uh, Skeleton Warriors. Some more vintage figures. And last but not least. Uh, there we go. Ghost Rider from uh, Marvel Legends Series 3? Yes, Series 3. So the Alliance of Fear 4-pack, I have to say, is pretty good. It has its flaws, but, you know, I think, I think it worked out alright. I like the concept, too. I do know about the other 4-packs. There was one with uh, Rachel Ghoul. Clayface, and uh, those are just two different packs. So, so uh, overall, I think this is a cool pack. I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a ten, just because it was a lot of fun as a kid, and I really enjoyed it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and don't forget to check out Just Me Nesto's tube channel. Link will be in the description below, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews. And uh, until next time, see you guys later. Peace.